Hello everyone, this is Neil Davis from Digital Cloud Training. I wanted to make a quick video just to let you know about a recent announcement from AWS in relation to the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate Certification. A bit later on this year, on August the 30th, AWS are going to release a new version of this exam. The new version has the code SAA-C03 and that means that the current version, C02, is going to be retired just before that date. So what do you need to know about this change? What does it involve? And what do you need to do if you're preparing to take this certification? And those are the questions I'm going to answer in this video. Periodically, AWS update their exams. Now, every couple of years, and it will be about two years for this exam update, they do refresh and change the exam code which is why we're moving from CO2 to CO3. Now, within an exam version, they do make some minor updates. You might see some new services coming in, but when they have a big update to do, that's when they release a new exam code. Now, the new exam guide, which details all of the new services and features that are going to be tested on in the exam, has been released, and you can have a look through that. There's a link in the description of this video. There's also an article linked from our own website where I delve into a bit more detail about the changes. So in the new exam guide, it does appear that there are more than 30 new services that are being added into the scope of the exam. So that's quite a big change from the previous exam code and does mean there's going to be quite a bit of new study that you need to do if you're going to take that certification exam. Now, it is August 30th when the new exam is coming out. At the time I've recorded this video, that's almost six months away. So if you're already on your way to earning this certification, you don't have to do anything at all. Carry on as normal. The C02 is going to be around until August the 29th, 2022. So you have until that date. I normally tell people that you need between about six and eight weeks to study and then take this exam. So you've got quite a bit of time, maybe until mid-June before you have to worry about the new exam version. Now, if you already have earned your certification, don't worry, there's zero that you have to do and your certification is going to be valid for the three year period since you earned it. So for example, if you took your C02 exam within the last couple of years, then you'll have that three year period until you need to renew your certification. And your certification does not specify the exact exam you did. So that doesn't matter either. Employers are not gonna look at it and say, well, you did an old version of the exam. So you don't need to do anything until it comes time to recertify after your three year validity period expires. So how difficult will the new exam be? Well, I don't expect it's going to be much more difficult than the existing exam, but it does cover quite a few new topics. Now the scope of the services and features of AWS that are included within the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate exam is quite broad. And so they've added even more in now. So it is quite a lot of subject matter you need to learn. So you do need to make sure that you understand quite a few different products and services on AWS. However, it will just be multiple choice and multiple response questions and answers. You're not gonna have any hands-on testing within the exam like the SysOps exam. And that is something I wondered if they would include, but they haven't. So as much as you do need hands-on experience to be able to build up your knowledge before you take this exam, there's not gonna be any hands-on within the exam itself. So what do you need to do if you're already studying for the exam? Well, it is nearly six months away at the time of recording, so there's really nothing you need to do other than carry on down your existing learning path using existing training. Now, our courses will be updated, but not until it gets a bit closer to the exam release date because we don't want to provide all that new subject matter for students who are studying for the C02 exam. I expect it will be somewhere between four and six weeks before the new exam is released before we release a new version of our courses. And at that point in time, if you're enrolled on our website, you will get access to the new course with no extra charge. That's it for this video. I hope that's been useful to you. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to get the latest news and announcements on AWS certification preparation.